Greetings friends, it's V from V Love and Crystals. Guess what? Today I'm going to be sharing with you my animal decks and I'm going to be doing a comparison. I'm going to go with all of my decks side by side by side by side. I have maybe five or six different animal decks and I took out the ones that um, you know we can compare with. So if you have animal decks in your collection, I would love for you to do a video response and I will add it to our Tarot and Tea Tuesday fun playlist to share with everyone and we can find new channels to watch every single week. So yes, I tag you if you're watching. So even if you have one or two, I still want to see what you're working with in your, in your Tarot collection, your reading practice. All right, so let's get started and I don't forget I have deck reviews for these decks. I have, if, I, if you don't see them in my reviews list, that means they're coming soon. I also have combination uh, deck combos playlists where I combine decks, shuffle them together, or just read well with, you know, read them together. And I also have affiliate links to everything that I'm sharing with you today if they are an, on Amazon and some of them are on Etsy, which I'm not affiliated with, but I'll be having those links down below as well. All right, so in the first uh, category, oh my gosh, I have my work cut out for us. So the first category here is the eagle. Um, and so... There's quite a few different types of e uh, eagles amongst all my different decks. This is the tarot, uh, I'm sorry, this is the I Ching and Animal uh, Oracle. This is the eagles, um, this is uh, Colette Baron Reed's Spirit Animal Oracle. This is Children's Spirit Animal Oracle. And this is the beautiful uh, Diana Cooper Archangels with Animals Oracles. So I'm trying to get them all in the same shot. There we go. Beautiful, right? Look at that, side by side by side. Okay, the next, I gotta go fast because I have quite a few. We have the bat. The bat. Look at that, so pretty. Look at that bat. <laughs> we have the vulture. I love the different messages. I love the that they have, you know, they're very different amongst all these decks, you know, between, re between the art and the, the words. And I love that there are different animals in here that you wouldn't, or, or, you know, normally see in, in other decks. Like the vulture, who would think to do that? These two people would. Um, turkey. We have spider. If you have any of these decks, let me know. We have raccoon. I'm just gonna place them. They're not, gonna, you know what? I wanna keep them in order actually. Um, and we have nature's echoes, or oracle here as well. He's a, tar he's a creator here on YouTube. He creates his decks and he does like tarot news and live streams. Um, we have, oh yeah, this is the other, Raccoon, look how pretty. We have the bee, the bee spirit. I'm gonna have fun organizing this again, huh? It took hours, I had to break it up in different days just to whip up these cards to show you the differences and the similarities. Like these two uh, cards look the same almost, almost, but the messages are different. Sweet results await. Spread heart healing with joy. Archangel Permanilic. Okay, the next one is the Porcupine Spirit. Next one is the Peacock. I love the green and blues. You know that the, 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 the men, I'm sorry, the male peacocks, um, you got the female the peahen and then you have the, the male. They um, are the ones that have the bright bright feathers and the females are just the plain ones. So the males, they have the bright feathers to attract their mates. Interesting, I just learned that like a few years ago. So this is the mouse spirit or the mouse. Then we have the black panther. The armadillo. I 
the hawk. The snake. The badger. This is my newest deck. I've had this for almost two years now. This is the newest one. I love animal cards. I love, yeah, comparing them and using them in readings. The next one here is a skunk. So this I Ching, so this is a, a, a combination of, you know, I, I Ching and then animal energy and the creator totally meshed the two, which I think was a brilliant idea. Just like um, Diana meshing the archangels with the animals, brilliant ideas. I love, I love seeing what people can do with the animals, you know, with how they can incorporate them on oracles. So this is the giraffe. Oh my gosh, check this one out. So this, oh, and this is the, sorry, excuse me. This is the Animal Tarot by Ratley Valentine. Love it. Sorry for not mentioning that before. It kind of snuck in, didn't it? So Parrot. This one is really a cool lineup here. Love all the rainbow colors. All the parrots. I love this one. Next one is a tiger. Next one is a lizard. And this is a children's animal oracle here. In case I didn't mention it. This is the very first oracle I ever purchased. It's one of my favorites. It's like for children, but it's so relatable. It's so lighthearted. Now we got the beaver. But it's blunt. It's like, yeah, look, do your chores. <laughs> okay, it's not nagging or complaining or lecturing. It's more like, you know, get stuff done. We got the otter. We have the grasshopper. I would love to see your comparisons. What animal decks do you have? Withdraw, Groundhog. Earth, I'm sorry, Turtle. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of turtles actually. All right, here, Turtle. These two kind of look alike. It's beautiful, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we have the cat. We have the dragonfly. The dragonfly. So the, this deck has a lot of cards. I, I think it's like 70 something, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, or approaching that number, or maybe a little over that number. Um, a lot of animals in that one. But there's a few animals that I was like, what, you don't have my favorite animal? I think it was like, oh, I don't wanna say, cause I might forget. But it was like two of them that I was really looking forward to seeing, but that's okay. And some of these other decks, I'm like, really, what's my favorite animal? Um, so yeah, that's the coyote, or not my favorite, but something that I look forward to seeing in oracles. This is the buffalo. The frog. Oh yeah, I was looking forward to seeing the frog in Diana Cooper's Archangel Animal deck. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Look at this beautiful stuff, and with the green, this is actually gift paper. Uh, I fell in love with them. Like I need it for my table. We have the hummingbird. 
I'm having so much fun with this. I hope you are too. Love the visuals. We're going through the rainforest right now. Going through nature. We have the fox spirits. You can see I'm dedicated. I took a lot of time just to organize these for us. To keep it fun and organized. Yes, same thing. We have the moth. We have the lion. Yeah, I was looking forward to the lion in one of the decks here. And I'm like, where is that lion? Come on. Gotta have a lion. Uh, so can you tell which one's missing? It's Diana Cooper's uh, deck. She's missing the lion. In my opinion, there's your lion. Beautiful. Roar. Man, I love the lion. My lion just came home. I don't know if you heard the door open. It's crazy how that worked out. We have the dog now. See the dog? And then you have this one here. So cute. We have the dolphin. Yes, all across the board. Yes, all across the board. All decks have dolphins. Yeah! So pretty. Okay. This is the horse. We're coming to an end somewhat. Sorry if you're um, you know, bored out of your mind. But this is fun for me. Every Tuesday we get to have fun with our cards. Hope you can join us. Hope you can join us. Horses all across the board. Yes, in all decks. We have the bear. So bear all across the decks except for one. We have the crow. So, two decks are missing the crow. That's quite all right. It's unusual you to see like the vulture, to see like the, the turkey, the hyena. There's that actually hyena in one of the decks, Diana Cooper's decks. I'm like, oh my gosh, you never see that. It's just so amazing to me. It's just, I don't know why. It's just rare, rare to see that in a deck, right? Elephant. Oh wait, there's one more. Elephants all across the, all my decks. Yeah. I love we're in, we're in sync. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I love, I love seeing all these animals. My daughter, she loves animals too. Uh, wolf. So we got the wolf. Wolf coming through. All of my four decks have wolves. What one's missing? We have the rabbit. The rabbit. Oh, all across the board, we have rabbits everywhere. This is a different kind of rabbit, though. This is called, like, the Angora rabbit. I've never heard of that, but I guess they look different. More fluffier, bigger. The butterfly. Come on, let's get butterflies all across the board. Yeah, we got butterflies all across the board. Oh, wait, we're missing. Oh, no, we're missing one from the Nature of Echoes. But still... Still a win-win. Look how, and they chose the monarchs. All these three decks right here. So funny. I guess they're most popular. We have the squirrel line up. Squirrel up all, all across the board. We got squirrels everywhere. Yes. Love it. Okay. Then we have the whale. Somehow we started with Diana Cooper over here, yeah, so they kind of got mixed up, but all the links will be down below, so, um, to Diana, Diana Cooper, Colette Baron reed um, okay, so now we're doing, uh, the deer all across, yep, all across, except for the nature of echoes. So cute. So the guidance, the owl. Let's do the owl now. Oh, look at that. Owls all across the board. So pretty. This one's like my favorite. That one is just so like oh, mesmerizing. Wow. And look at the eyes in this one. They're all just beautiful. 
Okay. We have the ants. We're coming to an end. See, I got a little stash here. We have the ants here. We have the swan. Oh my gosh, we have swans all across the board. Yes! Swan. All across the board. We have the panda. The panda here. There's actually a few more, but I was like, okay. This is enough, I think, for a video. Dove. So, I'll, yeah, this is Diana. Let me put them in order, like how we started. So, you, even though I already probably confused you by now, um, Rally Valentine Tarot, and this is Diana Cooper's Archangel Animals. The cow. <laughs> so cute. And the kangaroo. Wow, what a what a fun video, I would say. <laughs> this was a blast. Thank you for watching. If you have any of these decks or one or two or if you want any of them, let me know which ones you that really call to your, to your eyes, like wh which really draws you in. If it's the messages or the art or the energy behind it, the purpose, what would you use it for? Much love to you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, Tower and Two Tuesdays are super fun and I would love it if you did video responses because they're, it's more interactive when we get to see what everybody else is working with in their tarot collection or their tarot practice. I'll see you next week.